Welcome to the hit new game show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play? Tis the season. Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. Okay, and welcome everyone. This is what you've all been waiting for. This is the finale. Yes. <laughs> get to know our teams one last time. These are the two teams that have made it the entire way. We will crown a winner today. Are we ready? So over here we have Mr. Martin and Santa still loves Chalky Bill. <laughs> uh, featuring Marissa, Ariana, Gabby. All right. And over here we have I think we should be the Mick Wisers. Okay. And the three wise men and women. All right. <laughs> All right. Featuring James Ellis. Olivia Good, Bryn Lehman. All right, shall we get this on the road? Here we go. 12 drummers drumming. If you said you have bigger fish to fry to a great white shark, what would you be frying? Would you be frying a blue whale, a whale shark, a bluefin tuna, or a giant squid? Blue whale! I heard over here that is incorrect. Over here with 10. Giant squid is also incorrect. Oh, minus 300, it would be a whale shark. A whale shark would have been your correct answer. 11 pipers piping, here goes. Let's say I was browsing through someone's search history and I found the following. Okay, here goes. Options if I was wrongfully imprisoned for 27 years. Stream Invictus. Better title for Average Hike to Liberty. All right. Whose computer was I searching on? Was I searching on Martin Luther King Jr.'s computer, Miguel Gorbachev's computer, Nelson Mandela's computer, or Fidel Castro's? Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is correct for 300 points. I was searching on his computer. That is correct. Ten lords are leaping. Here goes. If Cardi B, the rapper behind the hit song Bodoc Yellow, contracts Bodoc Yellow Fever, how does Cardi B? Cardi B jaundiced, Cardi B hyperactive, Cardi B craving potassium, Cardi B covered in boo-boos. Cardi B jaundiced. Cardi B jaundiced is correct for 300 points. Yes, that'd be yellow, right? Jaundice will get yellow. Nine ladies dancing, here goes. If Romeo and Juliet competed on the set of Family Feud, what team would Romeo be playing on? The York family, the Montague family, the Capulet family, the Lancaster family, I heard them over here first. Montague. Montague is correct for 300 points for their team. Here we go. Which of these breakfast cereals is made with the top two most produced grains in the world? Are we ready? Cinnamon corn crunch, now with wheat. Or frosted potato nuggets, now with soy. Or Fruity rice dunks, and now with wheat, or soy blast corn zingers. Extra corn. Yes. Fruity rice dunks with wheat? Uh, the one with the fruity, I think I heard you say. Fruity rice. Yes, that is incorrect. Oh, yes. Over here, four, ten. I'm going to guess corn crunch with wheat. Corn crunch with the cinnamon corn crunch with wheat is correct for 300 oh, points. Yes. It is cinnamon yes. corn crunch. <laughs> Seven swans are swimming, here goes. Which is the only phenomenon mentioned in the Pledge of the U.S. Postal Service and the Green Lantern Corps? Is it by heat, night, evil, or rain? Yes. Rain. Rain is incorrect. Over here, 410. 
Night. Are we going with night? Night. Night is correct. It is in both corps. The Green Lantern Corps as well as the U.S. Postal Service Corps. All right. Six geese laying. Here goes. Suppose the Von Trapp family shared a Netflix account. If George and Maria had a joint profile, how many of their kids would be excluded from having their own profile? Seven, five, three, or one? You have ten. Time! Time! The correct answer was anyone want to see now? Uh, the three. They were gonna. They were gonna go with three. Were you gonna go with five? They're gonna go five. The correct answer would have oh. been three. All right. Oh, yeah. They allow five accounts. The seven oh, bond trap kids plus the joint account. Eight oh, minus five is three. They would have been right, but no points awarded. Five oh, golden oh, rings. Here goes. For a little curveball for your this or that, here is your little curveball for this round. Your choices are, is it a Beyonce song, is it a video game, or is it both? Okay, Beyonce, video game, or both. Beyonce, video game, or both. Remember, you don't need to slap in, just scream out the answer, all right? Are we ready? All right, Beyonce, video game, or both. Ready? The Last of Us. Video game. That is correct for 300 oh. points. End of time. Sounds like both. That is incorrect for <coughs> minus 300 points. Uh, it was just a Beyonce song. Survivor. Beyonce! That is correct for 300 <laughs> points over there. All right, here we go. A way out. Both. Both is wrong, minus 300 points, it's just a video game. Halo, that is correct. Uh, yes, that is better, but either way, they are already wrong first. Minus 300 here, no points awarded over there. Destiny, that is incorrect, minus 300 points. A video game was the correct answer. XO. That is correct for 300 points. Oh yeah! All right, four calling birds, here goes. It's time for everyone's favorite question. I uh, know. Nope, I switched it. Octopus, Fluffy, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein. One of those is the correct answer. Are we ready? One of these is the correct answer. Your question is, John Lennon's alter ego in Yellow Submarine. You have ten. <laughs> Octopus. That is incorrect. <laughs> for <laughs> <100 laughs> points. Four. <laughs> correct answer is Frankenstein. It was from the animated <laughs> film that was created. Three French hens. Here we go for three French hens. If you wrote a Dear Don letter to John Deere Tractor, what would it say? Would it say, Dear John Deere, I long for you. Come back. Would it say, Dear John Deere, I think we're mowing apart. Goodbye. Dear John Deere, I'm sad to hey that you're dying. Or, Dear John Deere, I'm pregnant with your corn babies. Dear John Deere, I think we're mowing apart. Goodbye. That is correct. Yes. The Dear John letter is when you break up with someone for 300 really points of their team. I have yes. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two turtle doves. Here goes. If Paul Rudd were a Temerian, what would he be? A bird named Paul Rudd, a musical instrument named Paul Rudd, a citrus fruit named Paul Rudd, or a monkey named Paul Rudd? A monkey. A monkey is correct over here for 300 points. <laughs> Wait a second, is there another two turtle dove <laughs> question? Oh no, what will we do? Here's another extra question, here goes. Another Paul Rudd question! Yay! All right, if Paul Rudd's real first name was Paul like the Apostle's birth name, what would he be called? Would he be Raul Rudd? Would he be Yahoo Rudd? Would he be Saul Rudd? Or would he be Paul Rudd? It's the saying I heard over here. Saul Rudd. Saul Rudd is correct for 300 points. It would be Saul Rudd. Oh my gosh, another one? Oh man, what's this one going to be? 
Another oh pull God. run question? Oh no. All right. Well, let's say Paul Rudd dies. Which of these at his funeral would be the Paul for Paul Rudd? Are we ready? All right. The flowers, the coffin, the people crying, or the suits he's buried in? Oh, oh the coffin is correct for 300 points. Oh, that is correct for 300 points. Another two turtle doves question. Oh, my. What could it be? Another Paul Rudd question. Oh, no. In what way is Paul Rudd like a rudder? He helps launch other actors' careers, or actresses. He helps stop movies from bombing at the box office. He helps R-rated comedy genres stay afloat. Or he helps steer Hollywood in more profitable directions. Yes? He helps steer. He helps steer is correct for 300 points to their team. He helps steer. All right. Another! Oh, another Paul Rudd question. Oh, no. Assuming Paul Rudd, guys, assuming Paul Rudd is not somewhere in space or in the quantum realm, also, considering the circumference of the Earth, oh what's gosh. the farthest distance away that Paul Rudd could be right now? Approximately 4,200 miles, approximately 12,450 miles, approximately 18,090 miles, approximately 12,901 miles. You have a 10. Okay. <laughs> Correct the answer is... 12,450 miles. That is correct. We'll be halfway of what that is. <laughs> oh, we are the last question. All right. And a partridge in a pear tree. And we know the gist, but here is your clue for this question. Are you ready? Your clue is just don't pick Paul Rudd. Don't pick Paul Rudd. That is your clue. Don't pick Paul Rudd. Are we ready? There's your board. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, the raincoats are coming. Over here. That is correct over there for 300 points. Pee Wee Herman. Oh, where is he? No. Oh. Paul Herman. That is correct for 300 points. Oh, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Peter Piper. Paul. That is incorrect. <laughs> right over there. Time, the correct answer would have been Pete Rose. Mad about you. Uh, is it Paul Reiser? Yeah. That is correct for 300 yeah. points. Annabelle QB. Oh. Philip Rivers. That is correct for 300 points. 2012 Vice President nominee. Martha, that is oh, it for the round. No, but I appreciate it. You have? <laughs> it's okay. Hold on. Yeah. Paul Ryan is correct for 300 points. Recently died this month. I don't know. Correct answer is Paolo Rossi is correct. Core 54 actor. Paul Reed is the correct answer. Yeah. Upright Citizens Brigade. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that one. Yeah. Correct answer was Paul Rust. And finally, totally heartbroken. You have 10. The correct answer was Mr. Mars. Oh, With the show it. being done, totally heartbroken. Let's see the final scores. No, no. No. That's not good. Okay, no. yes. Oh, the Mick Weiser clan has won. Excellent job. Excellent job to all of you. Let's see the totals. Uh, what do we have over here for your total for uh, the money this time around? 121. 121 to? We're 160 with our 160, which means they get another donut party. Thank you to everyone who played.
Well, we will. They will also be getting medals when they arrive, as well as um, some wonderful gear as well. So thank you, everyone, for playing. I hope you had some fun. And uh, because everything hasn't arrived, we will have a live performance on After the AM, where you will be given all of your wonderful trophies and medals. Have a great rest of the holiday season!